What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. True Hunter here. In today's video, we are continuing our whitetail grind for a 200 whitetail. This is episode 3 out of probably many that's going to come. But just before we get started, we are going to be doing the next giveaway. We do have quite a bit of people involved in this one, so please bear with me on the names because a lot of them are hard to pronounce. But like I said, you have 24 hours to contact me on Discord. I will be posting my Discord in the description down below after the video. And yeah, let's get on with the drawing, guys. Alright guys, we are about to do the drawing here. Here's everybody's name that got the word right and commented it. Um, it'll be the same as the last one. I will put the word somewhere in the video for you guys to find. But this time, you guys are going to have to be in the Discord and actually private message me the word. Because a lot of people in this one, I feel like, actually just went off based off the comments and didn't actually watch all through the video. So we're gonna try to do it this way and see how it works out better. So, all right, like I said, you have 24 hours to contact me on Discord to claim your prize of a thousand EMs. I will send you the gift code over Discord. And yeah, good luck to everybody. Alright guys, we have a winner. It's ACL Gaming in Tech. Congratulations on the 1000 EM prize. You have 24 hours to claim it. If not, I will spin the wheel again and the next person will have a chance to add 1000 EMs. Alright guys, let's get back to hunting. Alright guys, we are back in game now and so today's plan is, is we're going to basically be doing some tower hunting for these whitetail considering Logger's Point has some of the best towers you can actually hunt from in-game. So I actually have my starting tent not too far away from this center tower here. If you guys don't know what this tower is all about, then I'm going to leave a link in this video description for you guys to watch just to see how well this tower is. But we're going to start here primarily. And I think the game plan is we're going to actually just keep kind of move down this direction because we can pretty much find Whitetail in this whole southern region down here. But I think what we're going to do, we're going to fast travel up to the tower first, and then we're going to kind of work counterclockwise back in this direction, I think. So anything south of this line, you're going to find Whitetail all throughout right here. So that's pretty much going to be the game plan for the day. Like I said, we're pretty much only going to be showcasing Whitetail kills. We're going to do 10 a video for the grind. So far, we're up to 20 with two episodes. So um, if you guys like this kind of content and want to see episode four happen, please drop a like for the algorithm. It really enjoys it and I enjoy it as well. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video and let's get on with the hunt guys. All right guys, we got our first whitetail buck here from the hunting tower. He is a very nice high rack buck, but he does have a lot of deductions on him from what I can see from here. He's got about two or three deductions that are going to hurt him pretty bad. That's why he's got that low score estimate. If not, he probably would have been, I would say, guarantee upper 170, maybe upper 180. He's probably going to be like 160-ish with the deductions. But still a very nice high rack. I really like these rack variations. You don't really see them anymore. And we have a bobcat over here as well, too. So I think what we're going to do, obviously, when I shoot him, everything's going to spook out of the area. So I'm going to take him with the muzzle loader. If I can reload it in time. Might have to switch over to the other one. One hour later. Actually, I'm going to take him with a recurve. I almost thought he was going to get headshotted there for a second, but luckily we got that arrow to kind of sneak right in there and hit him in the spine. So, not a bad start, but first buck of the hunt, pretty nasty looking buck, a lot of deductions. I'm going to say maybe 160. Exactly 160, right on the money. Very nice, very, very nice. Cool, cool. All right, so, yeah, so if that, we can average that, I would say, that would be pretty good, but, you know, what we're looking for is that 200 mark. Hi right, guys, we have buck number two coming into the tower here, and I think since this is actually going to spook a lot in this area here, and it's just going to scatter stuff in all directions and pretty much ruin 
our opportunity to actually see anything else come to this tower for a little while. I think we're actually going to take him with the muzzle-loading pistol here. So let's go ahead and line up a shot here on him. I wonder if I can actually, I wonder if this will affect the bullet if I don't lay down. Alright. And that should do it. I should put him down pretty quick. Oh, there he goes right there. I'm going to go ahead and mark him. And he'll probably expire by the time I get over to him. So, oh, we got a mushroom here, boys. Let's go. How big is it? 12G. I wish you got, like, GMs for finding collectibles. I think that'd be uh, kind of more rewarding to, you know, actually go out and hunt for sheds or something. Now, the only reason why I started to run is because I did shoot my rifles, or my pistol, technically. But All right, guys, here's our buck number two. Not a monster, but the cleanest one we've had so far. Looks like I placed that shot just a little bit too far forward and hit him in the shoulder, but here we go. And we got 79.1 kg, and he's going to score probably about 120-ish, I would say. 106, so he's a little bit smaller than... All right, guys, we got our third whitetail buck here. I've been tracking this guy for a little while. Got his track a little bit ago. You can see on the hunter, mate, where those X's are. That's about where I got it at. And he's actually give us a call right here over this hillside. So I'm going to just kind of creep right up here on this hilltop and see if we can spot him. Oh my gosh, okay, well, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's not what I was expecting to see, but <laughs> I thought it was just one buck, but there's two bucks here, um, okay, that's kind of awkward, alright, here we go, aim small, miss small, I'll stand up, hopefully the second one don't see us, What I was afraid of. Right, we gotta track that way anyways, so. Alright guys, we got buck number three here. We finally found him. He went a little bit further than what I wanted him to, but here he is. He weighed 85.7. He scores 146. We did indeed get just a single lung shot on him. So, luckily he didn't have a very long wound time, but 77 GMs, very nice, very nice. All right, guys, so we have buck number four here in front of us. I am just south of my tent I was talking about. My tent is up there on the ridge line right over there. And we have our next buck right here in front of us. If I can locate him again. He is somewhere right here. There he is. Tucked right in with that brush. I'm pretty sure this is the same buck that was with the other guy. He traveled a decent distance before I actually caught up to him. So I think we might take him with that. I think that was a good shot. Alright, here's buck number four. 78.3, probably going to be like 105, 107. All right. Yeah, this has to be a different clock, because this, that mule deer was a little bit closer than this audio cue I got marked. All right, guys, we got buck number five here on the hunt. He is approaching us now. I actually managed to lure him in. About the same average buck as we've been having. Probably going to be like, hmm, I would say maybe 105, I would say. Another 105, maybe 102. But what can you expect? Can't always find 200s right around the corner. I think we're going to take him with the uh, 45 caliber muzzle loader here. And that should be at least a single lung shot. Alright guys, we finally managed to find our fifth buck laying here. He didn't go that awful far. That's what I thought. We did indeed get a body shot, so we must have not got enough penetration to hit anything from that frontal side. But 
My estimate was pretty much spot on, almost. I guessed 105. He is 106, so that is buck number five. So I was over here at this area I'm talking about. It's this open area here with a bunch of like dead trees and stuff, and there's like log piles back over here on this side. Well, I come across this max weight uh, mule deer track that kind of caught my attention. So, a side note, if we do come across this mule deer, I'm actually going to take the time to go after it because this is a max weight mule deer track and there are just a ton of tracks right here. So, that does indicate there is a group of males traveling together somewhere. So, Alright guys, so I've managed to catch up to this max weight estimate mule deer and he has the horns to back the track up. I'll probably get up on this rock here. Oh, there he is. I think that's him anyways. Nope, that is a doe. There he is. Absolute stud of a buck. We got a 190 to 240 score. So this is most likely going to be the wrong 200 that we are looking for. So we're going to go ahead and take him with the muzzleloading pistol. And that should be a really good shot. We should not go far at all from that. Go and pick him up. Only 205. So that hurt him really bad. That one right over here being shorter. But definitely. Oh my gosh. The wrong 200. Ugh. That's what I need for Whitetail right there. Uh, Still a good buck though. I am going to fast travel back to the tent now. Over here where we initially started. So I'll see you guys back over there. Alright guys, we got buck number six here technically. I hopped up here in the tree stand and put some um, whitetail scent down. So we have quite a few whitetail around us. Unfortunately, there is only one buck right now. So we're going to go ahead and put an arrow in this guy here. Once he stops. He should stop here in a second before he gets to the tent. Go ahead and draw back on him here. I did do a drop shot. Since I put some spray down, I'm actually going to hop back up here in this tree or this stand real quick. After this, here's buck number six, smallest one of the hunt probably at 65 score. All right, guys, we got whitetail number seven here from the tower, and I have to personally say, if you guys do not use scent spray, I would very much recommend it. Because I have had very much success using it in this hunt. These deer have just come out of nowhere. We're going to go ahead and take him with the 30 out 6. And just like that, he is down. Go ahead and pick him up here. I did have two uh, mule deer does come up underneath the stand as well. So I took those down with the recurve off camera. Now after I pick up this white tail, I'm going to restart the session here. Alright, let's go ahead and pick up our seventh white tail. We got 88.3 and we got a 104. Alright, so another small buck. All right, let's go ahead and restart the session and I'll see you guys back here at the tent. Alright guys, we are back here at the starting tower. I restarted the session to 7 a.m. Just to kind of right. give us a different um, variety of time we've been hunting here. Because normally I start my hunts at 8 a.m. Oh, and immediately we have a whitetail buck grunt right over here. So, fantastic sign. And I think I see him right over here. Looks like another average size buck. We've got an 80 to 120 score. So he's probably going to be around 110, I would like to say. Looks like we have a bobcat out here as well. Probably about 60, 70 meters. It is a male, 7 to 10. Hmm. That actually might be worth shooting. You normally don't get to see him that high. 7 to 10. Now, I don't have the Parker Python. Otherwise, I probably would take that shot. Now, I could attempt to take him with the recurve. Let's see how many arrows I have. I think I have another quiver in here. I do have another quiver. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and call the whitetail in. Go ahead and get him over here. Now the recurve's really quiet. 
So I might miss a couple tries doing this, but I will eventually hit this bobcat. Uh, uh, <laughs> what the heck just happened? What the heck just happened? <laughs> I just dropped that bobcat first shot. What the heck? Okay, that was not intentional. I was honestly like <laughs> gonna expect me to miss at least twice, but wow. Okay, we absolutely drop shotted that bobcat. That has to be a good at least 60 meters too with the recurve. And uh, I don't know if you guys have seen or not. We did get another butt grunt back over here behind us as well. So uh, I'm still right. just so ecstatic about that shot on that bobcat. That is like, that's insane. Looks like our other buck is right here indeed. And this looks like an absolute giant. We got a 145 to 190 score. This is definitely going to be our biggest buck of the hunt right here. And he does have a deduction coming off his G1. That long tine right there. I don't know what it is, but if you guys have noticed the trend in all three of my episodes so far, like, our last final bucks, like, our last final three has ha been these wide rack bucks. Like, I just noticed that. Like, both thumbnails for my, like, first two were this wide buck, and then now I'm getting another wide buck closer to the end of the video. Like, I think that's kind of weird. Got another bobcat in here. We got a 7-9 to nine score bobcat. Definitely no way I'm making that bow shot from here. I mean, should we try it? I mean, with with our luck, I mean, that is a pretty far shot to do with a recurve. Especially on a bobcat, let alone drop shot it like that. But, <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. Probably won't even try it. I don't want to risk it. Let's see. Make sure my rifles are loaded here. Because I might have to switch if I don't drop shot this first buck here. I'm going to let him get just a little bit closer. Oh, we got another buck. We got buck 10 here, fellas. We got three whitetail and this one. Oh, my gosh. We got a 145. Another 145 to 90 score. This is actually crazy. This time switch is actually nuts. This is actually nuts. 7 a.m. might be the play here. The only problem is, is this is going to be a fairly bad predicament here. Um... Hold on a minute, let me think. I'm gonna take this buck out here. Hopefully the doe don't spoof. Switch to the doe. Drop her. All right, fantastic, works perfectly. All right, this is buck eight, nine, and 10, all in one sitting. There's no way this other buck ain't gonna spook. Come on, why don't you guys stop first? Whoever stops first, getting shot first. No way. Okay, here we go. So we definitely hit him. Don't know if I hit him with the second shot, though. Hit him with the first shot. But, wow. What a spot. <laughs> 7 a.m. from this center tower on loggers is the play, fellas. This is the play. Alright, so this is buck. This is going to be buck 8 here. Very nice, very nice. Let's go and pick him up. We got 86.6 score, and he is 117. Let's go ahead and pick up buck number 9, and then we'll go over there and see what that bobcat scores. So we got 99.9, .9 and we got a 180 buck. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I am talking about right there. Nice buck. We got a 180 buck. And he had deductions, too, so he could have actually pushed that 190 mark, too. So, all right. We're going to let this other buck go die out real quick. I want to see what the, this range is on this bobcat, because that is actually crazy. Got a really good shot in that bobcat, like almost dead center mass shot. All right, let's pick him up. 12.6, and we got an 8.2 bobcat. 64 meters, almost 65 meters with the recurve. That's crazy. All right, guys, here is our 10th and final buck here. And before I pick this guy up, I just want to do a reminder for this 
giveaway in this video, don't forget you have to join the Discord and go ahead and private DM me the word that is hidden somewhere in this video. I'm not going to tell you what, just like last time. You guys are going to have to find it yourself. But just so people don't cheat the giveaway, I want people to actually like private message me on Discord and tell me what the word is so I know for sure that they've watched the video and just didn't go based off the comments and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and pick up our 10th buck here. We got an 82.6 and we did hit him in the left hind leg, but he didn't go far at all with the 30 out six. So he got a pretty good wound time. So, but we got another uh, 170 plus buck. So pretty nice to end the hunt with. We got two bucks that are over 170. So I feel like we're getting closer. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Whitetail Grinding for the 200 buck. And yeah, don't forget to join the Discord. The link will be down below in the description. And hopefully all you guys are going to participate in the giveaway because I'm giving back to you guys. And I appreciate all your guys' support. And yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see next. Do you guys want to see episode four back to back? Or do you want me to do another guide? So yeah, just let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. See you guys.